So a very good model of a, of a public-private partnership with its industry partners, other nations, uh, universities. That's the way to approach problem solving now. We all leverage off of our investments with each other. And it's a, it's a model for the future. In recent years, hundreds of thousands of people have died in earthquakes. In the 2010 Haiti earthquake alone, over 220,000 people were killed. The human tragedy is immeasurable, and the overall economic loss is of epic proportions. The real secret to preventing damage from earthquakes is improving the ability to withstand the earthquake when it happens. We need to do as much as possible to act earlier, understand earthquake behavior and consequences better, improve disaster preparedness, mitigate risk, and increase community resilience to seismic events. Um, the global earthquake model gives that reliable, actionable information that companies and economies and even people can use around the world. Research shows that investing in risk assessment, building safer constructions, raising awareness, and developing financial tools for risk management is cost effective. A lot of the engagement has to also involve convincing donors and convincing development organizations that they should not make programming decisions, they should not make investments without truly understanding the risk of the areas in which they work. Most of these other initiatives, working on a regional scale or even on a global scale, they work top down, leave behind the local scientists, the local decision makers. To understand and manage earthquake risk, we need to know where the risk is highest and what options there are for mitigating it. Changing the way that, that buildings are constructed, changing the building codes, um, changing building configuration is something that you can do now. Currently, in many places in the world, there is a lack of transparent tools and resources to assess seismic risk. Even in countries where such resources are available, it can be hard to merge the data due to differing standards and methods being used. The notion of um, open access and transparency, I think, is something that um, will lead to, I think, more creativity and more innovation. To respond to this global challenge, the Global Earthquake Model Foundation, also known as GEM, was founded. With the support of the international scientific community, stakeholders and partners worldwide, GEM is producing the OpenQuake suite, consisting of scientifically sound, open source and freely available tools and resources for risk assessment. One thing that strikes me about Chem and, and, um, and was a very bold move at the, at the onset, uh, I think the vision from the beginning was to bring scientists, seismologists, engineers from different disciplines, different geographies together to develop models in a, in a consistent way. Chem is about to, to deliver a number of tools, a number of uh, solutions to help people to assess and to calculate and to communicate uh, earthquake risk. GEM is bridging the research gap in many vulnerable countries, working with local scientists to provide knowledge to policymakers, informing decisions that impact the resilience of communities to earthquakes. So when we do our loss studies uh, globally, you know, we're working with the same data sets and what will change uh, will be the models and, and how they use that data. So I think that's a very important step, not only for GEM, but for the entire modeling community. It can be really used to educate local communities, at-risk communities. Uh, and that elevation of seismic safety consciousness, which is missing in many areas, and also the empowerment uh, of a community to take control of how schools and hospitals and homes are built, um, can actually be driven quite powerfully from GEM, I think. The ability to take the technical body of knowledge that's around the world, put it together in a usable form, refine it, improve it, advance it, and communicate it. That's a tremendous undertaking. It's going to have tremendous value for businesses, economies, and lives around the world. In 2014, GEMWA released the full suite of OpenQuake products and resources, which will be available from an interactive web-based platform. We need your help to go beyond the global level to achieve detailed local assessment. For example, by contributing data at the city or province level, by testing the tools produced, and by using them to carry out assessments of integrated seismic risk specifically at two cities in, in, in South America, so it's looking at Quito, looking at Lima, and really seeing the immediate impact of improved knowledge of, of hazard and also vulnerability and social and economic aspects can have on these cities. In this region, de modo tal de que trabajando juntos podamos mitigar el riesgo sísmico existente en una región como Centro América del Caribe.
this is something that, that you can do, that is within the reach of any country to protect their people. This is a huge opportunity to make a difference in the world. Join Jim now to get involved.